Dear Diary, it's the 1st of April 2018. It's uh, about 6... 6.30 or something in the evening, so it's not an April Fool's joke or anything. Semitic, of the group of people, peoples, that includes Jews and Arabs. Ah, interesting, Oxford English Dictionary. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it there, but you can probably look in your own dictionary. This is, there's just so much hypocrisy going on. Um, and this kind of came out of the uh, anti-Russian propaganda. When we had, um, as I did a video, poisoning in Salisbury. And they quickly jumped to the, re the conclusion that it was uh, Putin. Uh, and um, everyone's talking down Putin and saying they're so bad people and except Jeremy Corbyn who was sort of a little bit reluctant and said well you know hang on perhaps we should just be sure first and then all this since then there's just been a barrage against Jeremy Corbyn saying how he uh, didn't condemn some piece of artwork that was clearly anti-semitic so they're always talking about anti-semitic as being anti-Jew and as we've just seen in the dictionary there it's Jews and Arabs so that would include the Palestinians as well wouldn't it so um, you know I don't think they make this big thing you know you're being anti-semitic you know it's worse than racism it's worse than anything now this is this really is like triple or maybe even quadruple hip hypocrisy here and um, you know it's just so typical of the of the world these days not the people but the the people who who have a voice um, you know we've got the British Broadcasting Corporation the BBC who are a lot of them are Jewish you know and you see any TV shows um, in America so many Jews. Um, you know, you watch comedies and stuff like that, particularly into comedies. You know, and these people like go. You hear comments like, "Oh, I've never seen a an uncircumcised penis before. Oh, that'd be so weird. A flappy skin." Yeah, you know, circumcision is male genital mutilation. It's um, it's diabolical. You know, and these. Little children at the age of you're supposed to have done it, have had it done before they're even two weeks old. Um, but the hypocrisy goes far deeper than that, um, because these Jews aren't even the real Jews. They're from Uzbekis, Uz, Uzbekistan, and they they first made their claim to Israel in 1100 A.D. You know, over a thousand years after, after Yeshua, um, and they're not the real Jews. The real Jews were 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 sent off slaves, captives. You know, sent in the slave trade and scattered all around the world. Which, and this is how the triple, the, the third layer of hypocrisy goes. Not only are they not the so-called God's chosen people. But that so-called God, Yahweh, isn't even God. So, you know, it's just crazy. So I thought I just wanted to to, to jot it down in a in a video log. Just to say, you know, it's such a crazy world that we're we're living in. And um, you know, so it's okay to be anti Russian state. I mean, okay, so they're not actually being anti Russian people. But here is uh, Putin, who's the the head of their state, head of the Russian state, and he's just been re-voted in with a with a good vote, and they couldn't find any major irregularities in the vote to condemn it. And uh, so you know, it's just complete hypocrisy. It's okay to be anti-Russian, but it's not okay to be anti-Semitic. Not that 
he even was anti-Semitic. Jeremy Corbyn just didn't condemn a, a piece of art that could be anti-Semitic. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. And obviously, the truth will come out. Nothing to do with my video, but I thought that it was worth making. Okay, thanks. Bye.